Hey guys, um, turning the camera around so you don't have to look at me needing to go to bed, but you can look at Miss Princess Ollie. Hang on, there we go. Well, I guess you can still see my reflection, but here she is, sleeping in the incubator. Get a better shot, there we go. Sleeping in the incubator, little baby girl. She heard me uh, when I came in. And she twitched a little bit, and I turned on the light, and she was like, hey, turn that shit off. <laughs> I said, nope, it's time to eat. So, um, so anyway, she's got her little whoopee. Um, kittens like to uh, feel like there's mom on top of them, so I make them a little kind of a donut ring out of um, a towel. And then I put their whoopee kind of on top of the ring so it feels like mom's on top of them, and they love that. Um, when they're nice and warm and comfy though, they'll sometimes crawl away and that's what she's doing right now. And you can see her little ears twitching. She's still absolutely filthy. Um, still waiting for her to get uh, stronger um, so that we can give her a bath. But um, she has decided that as her human slave, uh, she's not going to nurse from the nipple yet. So we've been tube feeding her and um, getting her getting her up to weight, so, um, hey Pam, hey Tracy, Tracy, look what I got, um, so anyway, um, she is, uh, she's still being tube fed, and that's okay, because she's very underweight for her age, and she's still very dehydrated, her pee has definitely, um, gotten less concentrated, so that's great, shows us that she's less dehydrated. Sorry, that was my finger. I need to get my other glove on and turn the camera so I can get her out and feed her. Um, so hang on while I do that. Let's see if I can get the camera set up. It's very hard when you have to keep switching it. Okay, so see if it's going to be a little bit blurry for a sec. Give me a little girl. Wakey wakey. Wakey wakey, time for a snack. Time for a snack. Ooh, let's see if we can get that. There we go. Now we're focused. Ooh. Cruel world, huh? Hi. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Say hello. You want to wave again? She's making little biscuits. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but she has her, <laughs> her paws crossed. <laughs> I bet mom's dying to uh, give this little thing a bath because <laughs> she's filthy. <laughs> yeah. Hi, oh, baby. Yeah. Are you gonna purr for me? Are you gonna purr? No? Just wanna close your eyes? Wanna close your eyes? Oh, sleepy time. Sleepy time. Oh. Oh. I can't take it. I can't take it. No. You wanna go potty? Huh? All right. Anybody who's squeamish about pottying, look away. Girl's got to do what she's got to do. She pooped earlier, so hopefully we won't have any repeats on camera. <laughs> oh, we might. <laughs> Marley, I've been um, slowly toothbrush. Oh, we got poop. Um, so really, if you're squeamish, look away. Um, we've been doing little bits of toothbrush cleaning on her as we go. Ooh, this is gonna be a bad one. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Okay. I won't. Hopefully, hopefully you couldn't see that. <laughs> it's part of raising kittens, though. She's like 
clean my butt. Clean my butt. Yeah. Yeah. You get some more in there for me? Awesome. They can look at your face. I gotta look at your butt. Oof. Yuck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's like a fountain. Uh, this is why I do not do human children. Yes. Oh. Hey, Carol. Yes. Well, just a kitten. One singleton. One little singleton. Good thing I brought extra paper towels. Because you are pooping everywhere. Pooping everywhere. Yeah. Let's hope that that is it. She already pooped earlier. I was hoping that would uh, <laughs> get all her poop out so that she wasn't pooping for the whole world to see. Or a thousand or so people. All right. So. We're going to, to feed her. First we're going to weigh her. Move the whoopee so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see. There we go. Let's see. 190. She was 183 this morning. This afternoon she was at 193, but she has pooped quite a bit, so we will call that good. I like to weigh them at the same time every day. Um, this is more just for shits and grins for me to know. Uh, let's see. Let's see, little mama. So, I'm just going to tube feed her now. Again, if you're squeamish about things going down throats, you might want to look away for a minute. And if you haven't watched any of the other videos, I am just passing a tube down into... There we go. I know, I know, I know, I know. Come here. I forgot to wrap you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot to wrap you and keep those damn little paws. There we go. Okay. So anyway, I'm just passing a tube down into her esophagus. And she naturally will swallow it. And then she's probably going to tell us how much she hates this. And I keep telling her if she would just drink from the bottle, we would not have to do this. And hopefully you're not going to see an explosion. Hopefully I got the tube onto the syringe tight enough after cleaning it. You know, it's much easier to drink from the bottle. Hang on. Hang on. When you're doing this, you have to make sure you wrap their feet up, because otherwise they snag the tube and pull it out. Pam, um, incredis, I don't, yeah, mamas with babies. Yeah, Pam, I gotta tell you, this incubator has revolutionized kittens for me. Um, it is seriously like the best thing ever. Not cheap, but it was well worth the investment. Um, as it keeps their temperature and their humidity at a great even level. Hang on. Hang on just a little more. There you go. There you go. Okay, now we can burp. Now we can burp and your audience can see you. Um, it is an AV incubator, uh, A-V-E-Y, and you order it direct from the company, and they literally, um, when, when we got ours, they were back-ordered, and so they custom-built it because um, they were out of stock, and it was a Christmas gift from, from Hubby, and seriously, it is, oh my god, I can't tell you how wonderful it is. Um, and it's so easy to sanitize. <clears throat> Once I'm done with her, I will give you a shot of the front of it. But it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, you know, you never have to worry about heating pads, you know, burning, thermal burns or shutting off or, you know, things like that. You've got a nice even temperature the whole time. And then 
they actually send with send it with a um, uh, humidifier. It's just like a, a little kid's humidifier, but they send the hoses and everything. Excuse me, that gets into um, a hole in the back of it. They it's fit for it, and it keeps their humidity at a, a high uh, at a high temperature at the proper temperature, and you can set it for different settings. Uh, Kiersey, hi Kiersey. Um, yeah, I am a foster mama uh, for kittens. This one was found um, yesterday outside of a warehouse and um, it was the only one there, pretty dirty and pretty underweight and dehydrated and cold. So we don't know what happened to mama, but this little girl got saved and the, um, the lady who found it um, I'll probably get this all screwed up because it's, you know, like friend of a friend of a friend, <laughs> but the lady who found it, um, gave it to a friend to raise and she took it to the vet and, uh, they gave it some fluids to try to hydrate it and some antibiotics. She's already asleep. It's a full stomach. Sounds like me. Um, and, uh, but she, she realized she was kind of out of her league. The kitten wasn't nursing. Um, and, uh. So anyway, she knew another of the foster mamas and kind of, you know, operator, telephone, friend of a friend, again, got connected with me and last night she drove, at like midnight, she drove quite a ways to bring her to me and we're trying to get her back on track and hopefully we'll pair her up with another kitten around her age because single baby kittens don't do as well as when they have companions. It's kind of one of those things where they um, are competitive to uh, to feed. So like they sit next to, you know, next to each other at mom and they both fight over boobs even though there's tons of them. Um, and just the whole stimulation of having another one in there when they don't have mom really uh, helps them grow. So. Um, yeah, you can certainly donate. I foster for the Humane Society of Harford County. Um, I'll post it in the comments after. And they've got a website. There's um, there's a way you can donate on there. Um, the other thing you can do is find your local Humane Society. I realize that I'm like a disembodied voice, but I know you guys want to see her and not me. Um, your local Humane Society or shelter or um, a mom and pop rescue organization in your local area, the best thing you can do actually is to um, to sign up to foster. If you can't foster, um, donate and spread the word for fosters. Um, even a temporary foster is great, kind of like this little girl. You know, I probably won't be the one who fosters her up until the time that she's ready for adoption, but I can get her through the rough patch and pass her on. Uh, to a foster parent that can take her and, and a sibling, and, uh, bleh, a foster sibling, and get her uh, to adoption age. My specialty is the um, the sickies, you know, the little sick ones. The healthy ones, um, I can usually give to somebody, and they can raise them up. But it's the sick ones that need me the most because um, between Matt and I, we've we've got a lot of a lot of medical stuff going on, so. Hi, Darina. I knew you wanted to come on and see her. She's getting restless. <laughs> She's like, my head's wet. Draw my head. Yeah, we'll draw your head for you. Do try your head for you. Yes. Yeah. This is like everybody's nighttime therapy. Isn't she, Linda? She's really, really squirmy. She's squirmy. Meow, meow. You're gonna make it. Look at those boogies. Look at those boogies. I can't wait to clean you. I can't wait to clean you. Oh my goodness, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, huh? Do you want away from me? Do you want away from me? Huh? Oh, look at. What do you see? What do you see? You hear me? Yeah? <gasps> look at those ears going airplane. You want me to rewrap you? Do you want me to rewrap you? They want to see you. You want to rar? You want to go rar? 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 You want to burp? Oh. Oh. 
and no, let me rewrap you. Let me rewrap you. Your little washcloth is filthy. We should have gotten you a gray one or a brown one because you're filthy. You is filthy. Here, let's make you into a burrito. A burrito. There we go. <laughs> She's like, no. All right. We'll dry your head off, okay? We'll dry your little head off. I'm hoping sometime tomorrow she'll be good enough to get a bath because it's driving me crazy. Yeah. You want to look and say hi? That dirty face. Oh my goodness. That dirty face. Oh, so, um, her, um, not her finder, but the lady who who got her from the finder and took her to the vet and brought her up to me um i said that she should be the one to name her and so apparently when they found her they were calling her ollie o-l-l-i-e and so we're going to keep ollie i'm going to add princess to it because she's been such a pain in the ass princess so she's going to be princess ollie um the vet that they took her to thought she was a boy but um it's hard when they're this little to sex them, but she's definitely a girl. So she's going to be Princess Ollie. Uh, Kiersey, it's funny, they normally name themselves, usually by personality. Um, when I take them from the shelter, uh, from the Humane Society, they're always assigned a name. If they've had a mom or if they have a mama, they will. the mama will be like, let's say, Peanut, and then all the babies will be Peanut 1, Peanut 2, however many there are. If they don't have a mama, the litter is usually called, you know, one name, and they're, let's say, permaids one through four. We did have permaids one through six last year, so um, sometimes if they're like a famous litter, we had a litter that was um, a litter of four kittens that was dumped in a uh, garbage can last year at a park, and um, those guys all got individual names because they were voted on. People could vote on them. They could donate a dollar and vote on, donate on, oh my God, let's try this again. Donate a dollar and vote on the names. And so they got individual names, but I always call them, they have baby names to me, usually by personality. So, or what they look like. And then, um, those are the baby names. And then when they go home, sometimes they keep their baby name. They usually know it by the time they leave here. She's fallen asleep. Um, but a lot of times the, the new families will name them their new names. She gonna go to sleep. Say go sleepy. Oh yeah. She's so tired. So tired. It's so hard being a kitten. And having your butt wiped. People feed you. Rub your belly for you with a toothbrush. Huh? Alright. She's gonna go night night for now for another two hours, and then we'll get up and repeat the process. I will not go live, because, <laughs> you know, I'll be wearing less clothing, and nobody wants to see that. So, all right, say goodnight. Maybe tomorrow morning we'll come live again, and you guys can see her. Yeah? Okay. Good night, guys.